So as we told you, information collected in just the last few days has revealed what could only be called an epidemic of bed sores. Yeah, we're talking about bed sores, which can be deadly. Complications of bed sores or pressure ulcers kill about 60,000 people every year in the United States. That's a, a football stadium's worth of, of people. And they can lead to fatal complications. As a nurse, I can say preventing them can be difficult in some cases. Nurses know to prevent pressure ulcers, patients who can't move on their own should be repositioned or turned every two hours. But with multiple patients to care for, staff can lose track of time. Frankly, we were struggling with this issue. But those who, do, who are immobile, uh, paraplegics, quadriplegics, or people that are bedridden, uh, often have problems with these. Constant pressure and weakened blood flow damage the skin of bedridden patients. That can lead to tough to treat infections. Heart surgeon Dr. Rafael Squiteri says best safety practices and well designed hospital beds are not making a huge impact. I originally uh, was in a vehicle accident, but I did get one after I got home, severe pressure sore, and had to have an operation on that. I was in the hospital this time because of that for five months. One of the most common complications during uh, a patient's stay in the hospital and it also costs the healthcare system millions of dollars every year. For the millions who shared his broken condition and daily struggled just to breathe, he died Sunday of cardiac arrest after becoming infected from a pressure wound as a common condition in spinal cord cases. Like, now what did he have? He got paralyzed coming off a horse, didn't he? What if I told you that this killed Superman? Oh my God, what is that? It's horrible. Usually on uh, bony prominences uh, where immobility causes you to have pressure uh, on, the, on the skin, it's a localized area of uh, skin necrosis, but also it can affect the underlying tissues down to the bone even. And many of these will develop whilst an individual is in care. What if you can't move around? How do you prevent these or how do you treat these? Relieve the pressure. But many pressure ulcers can be avoided if preventative practice is followed. In 2016, we had 60 hospital acquired pressure ulcers. Uh, in year 2017, we reduced that to 19.